Okay, for those students who might need a little more clarification on lab number two, if you look at the example in your textbook, and I believe that is probably on or around page 43, what you're looking for is once you've selected a data table and you've made, uh, you, you've written your problem statement, what you think is a problem or an issue, then while you're thinking about it, and you're looking for data on, for example, here, if you had selected criminal justice, while thinking about this problem, you look for data on arrest rates. And to be more specific, you can break it down by data on arrest rates for drug offenses. And you might find tables that break down arrest rates by some of the following variables. Oh, let me go back one step. A variable, in case you don't know what that is, and this will come up later, it can be a characteristic or attribute of persons, objects, or events that differ. Um, for example, if sex is a variable, then the values would be male, female. Um, another thing I'm just going to uh, flip click through here. Two other things I'm going to talk about is an independent variable, which would be the cause of whatever your problem or issue is, and a dependent variable, which would be an effect. A dependent variable is pretty much the effect, the consequences um, of what your whatever problem or value variable that you're you're deal, dealing with and looking at. If you think of drug arrest as a dependent variable and effect, then you might search for some variables that might have an impact on it, as in the following diagram. Now, you don't need to do or write or draw or complete this diagram for your paper or anything. This is just uh, a visual way of showing you, uh, explaining a little bit better what I'm talking about. If you look at drug arrests, then you could, also, well, drug arrest could actually be seen as an independent variable or cause as well. But you could consider different types of variables that might have an effect on drug arrest, which could be race, age, poverty, employment, prior arrest. Um, and there's other variables that would also take effect on that. Um, and remember, the data that you're looking for, or the data that you're looking to pull out of your data table, remember, you talk, you're looking for information on magnitude, scope, changes, and disparities. Now, I'm going to leave it at this for right now because I don't want you to get overwhelmed in learning and knowing the differences between independent, dependent variables, Independent is a cause. Dependent variable would be the effect. Now you can flip through forward and read ahead in your textbook and get a little more in depth into these uh, questions and this new terminology. Um, if you do have questions or something's not crystal clear to you, then what I'd like you to do is either email me your question or post it in the discussion board and blackboard because I really want all students to be able to share in the same amount of knowledge and information. Um, or, of course, you can ask me if you have any additional questions. So remember, this is just a little example of what you're going to be doing for lab number two. And hopefully this has helped clarify a few more little issues for you. All right. And that ends a little bit less than a five-minute lecture.